Have you ever dealt with hate? People online commenting really nasty things on your photos and videos? Or somebody that was just plain rude to you while you were out getting groceries or at the line at the bank? I'm sure that once or twice you have gone through this in your life, and I'm so sorry that you've gone through it. But have you ever stopped though to think about that person and how miserable, how sad and lonely their life must be for them to have stopped can time out of their day to post something, write something, reply back to whatever you put up in a nasty way, harassing you and being toxic towards you and hating you? Or when you were out in public, the first thing that they did was to swear and speak loudly and scream? Have you ever stopped to think about how tough their life must be, how bad of a situation they must be in their lives for them to naturally react that way? Now, this is something that once I started thinking about, it really helped me on dealing with these situations out in life. And yes, they happen to everybody. And I want to share with you another five tips that actually helps me even further deal with this and it doesn't let me get stressed it doesn't let me feel bad so if you want to find out and if this is something you're dealing with then check out the rest of the video because i have these tips coming up right now Hey, welcome back to Gaming About Life, the channel where we play video games, we talk about life, and hopefully you get something good out of this video. Something that'll help you become happier, wiser, healthier, just better, because this is the objective of the channel. Today we're back to playing Monster Hunter World Iceborne, and today I want to talk about something very important that I see every single day people trying to deal with and try to solve it, which is how to deal with hate. Now that can be online or can be offline, it doesn't matter. Um, I think... First, just understand that everybody goes through it, okay? Everybody feels this, goes through this at one point or another in their life. Now, the first thing, so first tip, tip number one, is that don't spend any more time on it, okay? So if somebody, um, if somebody, uh, whoops, that's not that one. If somebody was rude to you, or, you know, out on the street or whatever you are, or somebody is posting nasty things on your social media, don't spend any more time on it. Don't spend time thinking about it. Don't spend time wondering why they're doing it. Don't spend time thinking if it's true or not what they're saying, if it makes sense or not, if you are doubting yourself or not. Don't spend time if you are out on, you know, in public. Don't spend time there with that person screaming at you or that person complaining to you, you know, needlessly or in a rude, offensive way. Don't spend time on it because it's so easy for us to be, to, to, for us to freeze and be locked into that situation. Um, when you don't need it. There's nothing good that can come out of you spending more than 10 seconds in a situation where people or somebody's just being rude to you for no reason, you know? Um, so, of course, if it's out in real life, you know, it's not just on social media, um, and uh, uh, somebody is really aggressive towards you and you, you feel kind of scared or not, of course, do something about it, you know? Call a manager, call the police, um, ask for help around, you know? Just do something that allows you to not be in that situation for any longer than you need to. So remember, next time that this happens, and hopefully it doesn't happen to you often, but next time it does happen, just remind remind yourself, okay, I don't need to be here. I don't need to take this. I don't need to, to you know, absorb this. That just, I don't need this, you know, and move on. Walk away, do something else. Like I said, call for help for a manager or whatever it may be. So tip number two, ask yourself, why do I care? No. Why do I care that this person called me ugly, called me fat, called me, uh, you know, dumb or whatever it is? I say this in every single video. Ask yourself questions. It is so important. It's the best thing that you can do. Ask yourself why. Because it's either going to be one of the two options. Either A, you're going to realize that after you ask yourself, you know, why am I actually feeling, you know, this way? It's just because it's silly because you thought that you know it was actually true or because whatever they said it had like a little bit of a trigger inside of you but you know overall you realize that they're just being nasty for no reason and that you know there's nothing for you to worry about or b it's something that kind of actually triggers you because there is something in your memory that 
uh, you know, or some an experience that you, you had that reminds you of, you know, maybe a family member that was abusive, uh, a partner, or you know, friends at school, or people at school, or in public, or whatever it may be. So when you ask yourself those questions, you, you, you realize that, okay, there's something there and it's so much easier for you to solve the situation because you asked yourself and now you know what is triggering you. And just remember, it's only true if you believe that it is, if you, you accept that it is. Now I'm going to continue after this cutscene. So remember, ask yourself why, try to figure out why it is that you're feeling that way when people say something, like, you know, nasty towards you. <clears throat> okay, this fight is gonna be hard as frick. Alright, tip number three, disarm the hate with kindness. I know, yeah, it's really cheesy, it's really just kind of like, sometimes it's kind of overrated. I, I think it is underrated, to be honest. See, whenever somebody, okay, let's take the two examples of social media. So whenever somebody posts something, you know, comments on your photo or your video, uh, or just post something nasty about you, why don't you just reply with kindness? Just say something like, oh, you know, thank you for commenting and talking about me. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Is there anything I can do to help you change your mind? One, people are not going to expect that. And two, it's really going to make them think like, oh, you know, should I really said that? Like, oh, maybe they're not that bad. Or like, you know, it just... It just disarms, diffuses the situation, you know. Um, not all the time. A lot of people are just, you know, annoying and, 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 and hateful just because they are. You know, again, there's there's definitely a reason, a deeper reason in it. Um, but disarming it with kindness is literally the best thing that you can do. Because one, you prime yourself to not feel bad anymore, you know, because you're literally being kind to them. And that, ow, and that allows you to, you know, um, woo. Oh my goodness, that allows you to um, reduce any stress, reduce any, you know, oh my god, um, anything that, any, you know, negative kind of feelings that you're, you're having. Ow, how did that hit me? <laughs> I'm getting my ass beat right here. I hate Barry, he's so hard, so annoying. So anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, I think that's one of the better advice that I can give you because again, it just helps everybody. You know, it helps not promote any more hate. It you know because a lot of times the first thing that you want to do is just be angry and be you know reciprocal to their nastiness, to their toxicity. Uh, it's just how we are, human beings. Like it's not it's not exactly your fault. You know, like it's okay. Like everybody has the same feeling, you know, somebody says something, you just want to swear back at them and tell them how they are, you know, exactly what they said, it's okay, it's okay. So that's kind of pretty much dealing with, you know, online hate. So if you are in front of, you know, somebody, again, in public, and they're being, you know, angry and, not, and whatever, again, as long as they're not super aggressive and super, you know, like, actually kind of dangerous or whatnot, then if it's something that you think that you can deal with, then just same thing just be like you know hey you know thank you for letting me know i'm sorry you feel that way and i got a nice shirt like i actually really like your shirt or like you know i like your hair i love your hair i love what you're done with it you'd be surprised you truly be surprised by how many people just freeze they stop where they are you know and what they're doing because they were not expecting you to compliment them you know it just it just messes with their psychology you know Again, as long as you're not putting yourself in danger and you know you're not 
making the situation worse because some people, you know, have no goodness in them, you know, at some points of their lives that whatever you say actually will make it worse. So, you know, as long as you can assist the situa situation calmly um, and you feel like, oh, I can actually be kind to them and it's, you know, it's not going to escalate the situation, then do that. Tip number four. And this one I just learned recently and I thought, oh my god, this sounds amazing. Which is, ask them, what do you want to happen now? You know, uh, uh, not only, again, you're going to catch them completely off guard, but ooh, they're going to just think, which is something that people who are hating, they don't do. They're not thinking about the consequences. They're not thinking about what they're saying. You know, they're just saying. So when you ask them, okay, well, what do you want to do now? What do you want, you know, to happen now? Like, you know, they're going to be like, oh, uh, uh, well, you know, and either A, they're going to repeat the same thing that they were just saying. They're going to continue being angry and annoyed and whatnot. Or they're going to be like, uh, well, you know, just just do this, you know, just leave or like, just, you know, let me do this or whatever it is. You know, they're, they're, they, they are most likely going to just disarm themselves, you know, they're going to stop being angry and, and whatever. I hate Barith. I freaking hate Barith. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so freaking annoying. Uh, so tip number four is that. Ask them. Like, okay, well, where do you want to go from here? You know, what, what what do you want to do? How do you want to solve the situation? Oh, that's a good one too. You know, it really makes them think. And tip number five. <laughs> um, remember, you're never going to please everyone. You're never even going to please more people than you thought that you could. You know, maybe you think, oh, I just want to please 10 people. Maybe you're not even going to do that, you know, at a time. Now, yeah, you may know this because you've already heard this. You Surely you know this. But maybe it spends this thought, this idea, spends more time in your subconscious than actually in your conscious. Because once you bring it forward towards your conscious, meaning like, you know, you're thinking about it every day. Ooh, can I, can I, can I, can I get this one? Ah, uh, get him. Okay, um, once you're thinking about this, you know, consciously, then you're going to realize when something, you know, somebody is, is hateful towards you, you're going to be like, okay, you know what, I'm not going to please everybody, so let me see what I can do for this person, or maybe let me take this as feedback and see what I might be doing wrong, or, you know, once you realize and think about this, it's going to help you understand that, you know, whatever is happening, one, it's happening for a reason, and two, it's because you really are not going to please, you know, everybody. And once again, understand, uh, understand that whoever is hating on you, they might not, you know, be in a good spot in their lives. So by remembering all of these things, all of these tips, you prime yourself and you learn with every situation on how to best deal with it. So, <sighs> so remember, look, when people hate on you, like, it's not really about you. It's about them. You know, it's about what they're feeling and and it's not that oh, They're hating on me and you know, why is this happening to me? Like no, no, they hate on a lot of people You're not special. You're not a specific case that they're hating on you like no, no The way they're hating on you. They're hating on a lot of people. So don't feel bad. You know, really It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up Oh my god, how annoying is him? <sighs> so, <laughs> I hope <laughs> I hope these tips helped you. I hope this made some sense to you. And hey, if you, you know, do online content like I do, and you, you may really experience this more often than not, because everybody is a keyboard warrior when they're behind a the screen, they're behind their phones, you know. They oh my goodness. They really just feel like they are invisible and whatever they do have no consequences. If that's the case for you, I'll just give you one really simple tip. Block them. Block them. Un get them to unsubscribe from your channel if, you know, if it's a platform that offers that option, you know, report them, you know, or just ignore them. Hide their comments or just simply leave it there if you want to and just ignore them because Again, tip number one, don't spend any time on it. And remember, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. <sighs> Please remember, and I'll say this one more time. People online are way braver than they are um, in real life. So just remember that somebody who hates on you on the internet 
probably don't have the balls to actually say those same things um, to you in your face in real life. So I hope these tips helped. I hope that you're not going through this, you know, often. And I hope that um, next time that this happens, you know, um, you'll be able to deal with it better and in a more healthy way, in a way that doesn't deteriorate your mental health and your emotional health. So I'm going to try to beat this barrier because this is so frustrating. <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. If it made sense to you, if it helped you at all, if you brought you value, consider leaving a like that's just down below. It takes you a second and it helps the channel grow so much and helps me know that this video made a difference to somebody today. And if you want to see more of this video, if you like the content and if you want to get notified too, subscribe and hit the little bell that's next to it because that way you get notifications whenever a new video is up. And if you think that, you know, there's somebody in your life that needs to hear this message and see a video like this, then consider sharing the video too. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything that I can do for you, please leave a comment down below. Reach out to me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and I'll see you in the next video.